New York City has an extensive sewer system, but when it rains, the system can become overwhelmed by runoff, leading to the overflow of untreated sewage and contaminated rainwater into the city's waterways. Green roofs can help to alleviate this issue. By capturing rainwater at the source and promoting evapotranspiration, these green infrastructure reduce the volume of runoff going into the city's sewers. As students from Columbia University's Iger Solving Urbanization Challenges by Design, we have been researching green roof design and implementation issues from various scales and perspectives. The overall goal of our research is to use creative design solutions motivated by observable behavior to increase the applicability of green roof systems. Our research addresses issues of material cost and energy by incorporating waste and recycled materials, wide-scale monitoring by developing new, low-cost and low-maintenance monitoring methods, and restrictions in weight and constructability with the design of a structurally dynamic vine canopy system. So most green roofs use heat expanded mineral substrates and I've been working on developing new eco-friendly alternatives made from local waste and recycled materials. During a 26 week study, these alternative substrates were found to support seed and plant life to varying degrees. The results suggest that incorporating waste materials in green roof substrate design can help reduce overall construction costs and embodied energy. Using low cost soil moisture probes, Along with local precipitation data, we can capture daily changes in soil water storage. Incorporating a water balance equation, we then estimate the amount of water lost from the soil due to green roof runoff. Preliminary studies have shown that this new monitoring method is as effective as other typical systems, while requiring a fraction of the cost. Measuring green roof evapotranspiration is important for determining green roof performance in terms of both stormwater retention and energy reduction. The idea is to directly measure evapotranspiration on a green roof using the dynamic chamber and then find a reliable surrogate to predict evapotranspiration on a large network of roofs. I'm researching vegetation systems that could be better integrated into existing infrastructure. Green roofs with uniform loading produce the largest stresses in the spans between columns. This structural capacity is often limiting. By concentrating loads over stronger areas, the system can be more widely applicable. Additionally, a vine and trellis system would create a natural space for city dwellers, an improvement over most green roofs which are too sensitive to be walked on. By simultaneously tackling the challenges to large-scale green roof implementation, our team is aiming to close the gap between engineering solutions and urban sustainability.